Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, all right, Brandon. Thank you very much. Hi again, everyone. Let's get you caught up with what's going on around the NFL. We are officially into the second half of the season. We'll start up at MetLife Stadium in New Jersey. And it's the Jets who have the lead in the second quarter. Garrett Wilson, a touchdown reception. From there, we're off to Tennessee to check on the Titans at home in Nashville. And in that one, it's the visiting Dolphins who are out in front. Tear for Tua Tungavailoa. Finally, we're off to Atlanta to check on the Falcons at home at Mercedes-Benz Stadium. And they have the lead in that one over the visiting Minnesota Vikings. Devin Duvernay, a touchdown reception. With that, let's take a look at the next-gen stats for Buffalo in that first half. And they've definitely been able to exploit some holes in that opposing secondary as they threw for close to 200 yards in those first two quarters. Meanwhile, for the Ravens, we check out their numbers on the ground as they'll try to keep the momentum going into the second half. Okay, Coach, thanks as always to you and the gang in Orlando as we welcome everyone back in for quarter number three. The Ravens ready to receive it, and they've got the lead as well as we resume play in the second half. So here are the Ravens to take over on offense. They've won two straight, and they lead this one as well as they come up on first and ten. They'll start the drive with Samuels. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage. And no more. They'll run with Samuels. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. From the gun on third down, Jackson. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Tredavious White with a pick. And the Bills are going to take possession of the football. That is just what this defense was hoping for, an interception on the opening possession of this third quarter. Obviously didn't want to surrender a touchdown and fall even farther behind. And we've gotten to know this team a little bit, haven't we? Couldn't you just see their defensive leaders telling the offensive guys, telling the quarterback, don't worry, we got you to start things off. You take it from there. So here's the Bills offense. Now they get ready for their first possession of the second half. And they'll start with great field position, trying to get back into this one. It's first and ten here. So after the INT, it's Allen. And he's going to go down. They get to him back at the 40. It looks like a loss of one. And they're on first down to set him back on second. Throwing on second and long. Allen trying to get it to Robinson, and it's intercepted. And the Ravens are going to have the football here at their own 35-yard line. The one side gets an interception, but their defense comes on the field and picks them right back up by getting a pick of their own. And I think you saw the same thing that I did, Brandon. As he ran off the field after making that play, we saw his quarterback seek him out and offer a personal thank you to bail him out a little bit as the offense takes the field again. On second and nine, Jackson slings it to Anders, and it's complete. The tight end has it. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half, to about the 39. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. To throw is Jackson. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And they stop him up short of the first down as they get him at about the 43. And here's Ryan right now. And the way this offense has moved the ball, he hasn't been needed till here in the third. And he was called on three times in the win last week as his first one here's away. Yeah, he was looking for the checkup bounce, didn't get it. That scoots all the way into the end zone now for a touchback. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. And both of these defenses have been stifling these last few drives offensively. Just not able to get anything going, so what needs to change? I think a lot of the guys will go back and review, so to speak, because everyone has someone assigned to how did each play work. Okay, what did, what did we use that kind of worked for us during this game? Try and get back to some of those plays, as well as the possibility of showing something you haven't shown already in this game and trying to change things up. We'll see if they take the advice of Mr. Davis. Okay. 
On third down, they go with Singletary. And he's going to have the first down yardage as he's down at about the 30-yard line. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. Well, they still have time to get him established, but in my estimation, they've got to pick up the urgency here. They've got to get quickly in and out of the huddle and run off a bunch more plays. So first and 10 now from the 30. Here's Allen to throw it. It's caught on the right side by Robinson. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. A pair of first downs gives him a first and 10 up at the 44. So the shotgun snap to Allen. This one hauled in, and again, it's Robinson. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. So in Raven territory now, here's a first and 10 right at the 40. On the give, this is their fullback. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. To the air, Allen. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And they're going to work this down to about the 32-yard line. A give up the middle to Singletary. And he's going to get the first down as they bring him down at the 23. It's a nine-yard gain, and it keeps the drive moving. But they're getting ready to go to work now in prime real estate after that last run. Found his spot and picked up nice yardage, didn't he? But now he's got him knocking on the door of the red zone. So they fake the handoff. Now Allen. He finds Robinson. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. 18 yards there, and it'll be a first and goal. That's a nice job right there. Get the ball out to the perimeter. Get it to your guy in space. And he's just going to take this, turn up field, and turn it into a big play in first and goal. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Throwing now is Allen. And that is caught. Touchdown, Buffalo. A five-yard touchdown. And the Bills have cut it back within a score. And all about timing there on that short slant, Charles. Exactly right. That was timed up so well. The route, the throw, touchdown. Ku able to connect on the extra point. And the lead is down to a field goal. So that drive goes a full 80 yards in 10 plays. And it culminates in a Bills touchdown. After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Running to start to drive is Samuels. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. On second and nine, Jackson. Oh, you saw that one coming. It's intercepted, thrown back across his body. Picked up by Tremaine Edmonds, the linebacker. And the Bills are going to take possession of the football. Throwing on first down is Allen. Caught right side, Davis. And he'll be marked down right at the 20-yard line. Looking to throw again on second down. Allen. And this is caught at the 8. And the Bills are going to be set up with a first and goal coming up as they get him down at the 6-yard line. Going to throw. And it's caught. 
Fighting for the end zone. He lost the football. It's out. And I think the offense got it back. Yes, they did. At the two-yard line is where they'll have it. And they'll let the fullback try and take him home. And he'll get in. Touchdown, Buffalo. It's the fullback. His fifth rushing touchdown now on the year. And the Bills have scored again in this third quarter. This time to move out in front. And they just powered it in right there, Charles. Three tight ends out on the field. The fullbacks are the defense. They knew what was coming. They knew, but they weren't able to stop them. They knew they had to meet them with a little bit of force. But on that play, the big guys up front won the day. Extra point by Koo, up and good. And that will make this a four-point game. After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. And now Baltimore gets set to take the field. So now, Charles, this drive, maybe a touch more important, trying to erase the memory of that interception they had the last time out. Yeah, and everyone goes through this because even the best in the game, you're going to have games where it just doesn't go right for you and interceptions result. So, frankly, to me, it's all about how you respond, not just the types of plays that you call, but how you carry yourself, how you show your team that you're still with it, and how you continue to lead. On second and seven, Jackson. He finds Bateman over the middle. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Trying the left side with Samuels. And he is going to lose yardage here. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. Jackson. He's got his man. It's Andrews. They'll give him four yards there. And that's going to set up a tough third and nine. Jackson from the shotgun. And that is incomplete. And here's Ryan right now as he'll punt it away for the second time. And able to get this across the 20 before going out of bounds. 33 yards is the distance on the punt there. And the Bills will take over the football with a first and 10. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And the offense coming back out here. Plenty of energy ready to roll. Looking to just add to what they have been doing after scoring a touchdown, Charles, their last time out. And that's a great feeling to have on the sideline. You know he just won the battle against the opposing defense. And since they came off the field, I'll guarantee you all they want to do is get back out there because they know they have the upper hand on that defense right now. On first down, Allen. It's complete to Robinson. Only able to gain a couple there, and it'll be second down. To throw, it's Allen. A quick throw, but incomplete. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Here's Allen. And it's going to be incomplete. He was able to catch it there on the right sideline. But out of bounds, says the line judge. And it's going to bring up fourth down. The Cook now on to punt as he gets this one away. And not what he was hoping for there, as this will hit in the end zone for a touchback. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. And he works his way forward to pick up four yards there, second down. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. From midfield now, here's Jackson. And that'll be off the mark, too far out in front, and it's incomplete. 
An incomplete pass on that last play. That means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. From the gun, it's Jackson. They're able to locate Andrews here on the out route. And he will have a Ravens first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I love the drive they're working on here because they know they can take the lead with a touchdown. And so far on this drive, so good. They moved the ball down the field with very little resistance defensively. But they better be prepared for some adjustments to come their way now. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Now here's the option play going left. And he'll take this inside the 30 to about the 29, maybe the 28-yard line. On second down, Samuels. And he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. We'll return to more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. On third down, Jackson. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. That time, multiple defenders getting pressure, and it's a loss of six. Well, how about that? A dime set on defense, six defensive backs. None of them blitz. They're just back there in coverage. Defensive lineman gets the sack. That's where the O-line, they go to the sideline, they keep their, their helmets on so the cameras can't find them, right? Yeah, the cameras can't find them, but I know one thing, the O-line coach will. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. It'll be a 49-yard attempt from the left hash. Tucker's kick is good, and that'll bring him back within a point. So that Charles a season long right there. And you know who's really excited about that? The special teams coordinator, because he's the one who has to tell the head coach in pregame, this is where we trust him from. This distance, he can hit it. And he repaid that trust by knocking that one right through. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. Obviously not the intended goal last drive. They had to punt the football, but still they've got the lead here and now a chance to add on to that lead if they can get points on this drive. First and 10 upcoming. Well, they've gone to their fullback quite a bit. He'll get it again. And despite a nice juke there, really good move, he only gets about a yard, and it brings up second down. A play fake to Singletary, and now it's Allen. And seeing nowhere to throw, he chucks this one away from Harm. Incomplete. Now it's third down. Throwing is Allen on third. And that will be incomplete. Here's Logan Cook now. He's been terrific so far. Averaging 50 yards of boot so far as this one's away. And a fair catch call for and made just inside the 35-yard line. 37 yards on the punt with no return. And the Ravens, they'll take over. Now the Baltimore offense heading back out onto the field. And their defense accomplished step one of the mission. They forced the punt. Now they'll look to erase that deficit and take a fourth quarter lead. They'll start on the ground here on first down. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Throwing is Jackson. And that'll be caught by the big tight end, Andrews. An extra defensive back here for the Bills on third down. Jackson. And a throw there going to be incomplete. And here's Ryan right now as he's on to punt for Baltimore. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. And this one hits at the one, continues on into the end zone for a touchback. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. Their defense got the stop, forced the punt, and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this slim lead. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. 
And meanwhile, Allen's throw here, taken in by Knox. Here's a second and five now from the 25. Now Allen. Going right back to Knox and again a completion. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. Some blitz. They'll try to run for this with Singletary. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, and it'll bring up full down. I apologize in advance, partner, but the v feeders on the interior of this D-line, you just know they were licking their chops up third and short. And yes, they were rewarded with a tasty dish, stuffing that one short of a first down. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. Fair catch, signal four, and taken just shy of the 30-yard line. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return. And out will come the offense as they take over. On first down, it's Samuels. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. They'll go with the option. Coming right. The quick feet by Jackson. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. A good chunk on the ground, and the keeper, 17 yards, first down. It looked like almost a miscommunication defensively, because once he decided to keep it, he had pretty smooth sailing. Yeah, it became a question of, wait a minute, who's got the quarterback? When you talk about miscommunication, it's supposed to be called assignment football on the defensive side of the ball, but the assignment gets mixed up. That's the end result. They'll run on first down. Samuels, and yeah, nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. And now Jackson will look to throw it. Slings it to Anders, and it's complete. The tight end has it. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 40. Trying to get the first with Samuels. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. It's a first down following a gain of three. Off the play fake, here's Jackson. Over the middle complete, it's Andrews. He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. Straight ahead running, here's Samuels. And they got half of what he needed there, two yards, and it'll bring up a third and two more. Here's Samuels again. He's gonna be a yard short. Needed two, but only got one. Fourth down. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This for a fourth quarter lead. Tucker's kick is good, and they have taken the lead here in the fourth quarter. So the drive here ends with a field goal. It does give them the lead, but this one's still certainly a long ways from over. It definitely puts a lot of pressure on your defense to hold the lead, right? They're happy to have it and happy to be out there trying to do so. But I know as a former player, in the back of their mind, they're thinking, why don't you score the touchdown and seal this thing? The Bills offense coming out, ready to take over. And now they find themselves trailing following the field goal. Still a good amount of time in this fourth quarter, but this drive very well could determine the outcome of this ball game. On second down, here's a run with Singletary. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Buying time to his left. Allen hit. He lost the football. And it's picked up by the Ravens. And his crew will take over with a football at the 35-yard line. On the handoff, it's Samuels. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Now it's Jackson. He finds his man complete. It's Andrews. And he's going to be taken down at the 28-yard line. 
And they'll run the option on third and short yardage. And he's going to be a yard short. A two-yard pickup leads to fourth and one. Anytime you decide to use your quarterback as a runner, most of the time when you design a play, you're expected to break a little bit bigger than this one because when you run him on short gains, your risk-reward and him taking hits, I'm not sure that's the payoff they were looking for. He finds his man complete. It's Andrews. And he is going to have a Ravens first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. They'll hand it off now to Samuels. And he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25. Clock continuing to run. They'll probably wind this all the way before snapping it on second down. Now it's Jackson. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And he's brought down inside the 20 at the 18-yard line. As big of a play as we've had in this one so far. This is third and three. Shotgun handoff to Samuels. And he gets the first down yardage before he's brought down just outside the 10 at the 11. And even 100 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Staying on the ground with Samuels. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Here's Samuels. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. And now with 1.52 to go, we get another pause in the action. A timeout here defensively. Throwing now is Jackson. Setting up the screen. This is Samuels. And this will not be enough. On third and five, he only gets three. The Bills are going to go ahead and use their final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Tucker's kick is good, and that will push the lead up to five. So it's another field goal here. He may need to ice his leg after this one. That's now five field goals converted in this game alone. Yeah, get the trainer. They're going to need this guy, and they've needed every single one of the field goals he's made, too. If they're going to get out of here with a win, I say he gets a game ball. Allen and the Bills now down by five. Just over a minute, 40 to play. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. A good start to the drive. Here's it's caught out on the left side. And all the way home for a Bills touchdown. <laughs> Stephon Diggs with his second touchdown of the game, number eight on the season. And the Bills use the defensive breakdown to take the lead away here. Now look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked up by Marcus Williams. I know there's some time on the clock. Still think you kick the extra point there and don't go for two and go for the win in that spot. Yeah, time or no time, why not just take the one and even the score? And then that way, no matter what, <laughs> at least you know what you're dealing with now. It's a whole different strategy. You got to decide whether you're going to onside kick or just try and play defense to get the ball back. Jackson to throw. Complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. So second down, still 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. Now Jackson. Connecting with Andrews. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as it comes with exactly a minute to go in the football game. That went into the hands of his tailback, Samuels. And he's got a first down as the tackle made at the Bills 39. The Ravens moving quickly here as the clock runs. Oh, that's going to be a costly one. It's intercepted. 
Julian Love picks it. And the Bills have just about sewn up this football game. Well, you knew you had to take some chances here with the clock winding down, needing a touchdown to win it. And that one might have just sealed their fate. Yeah, and that's the nature of the two-minute drill. The offense trying to go downfield and make their plays. But defenses, they're sitting back watching everything that they do, but not too far back. They want to be in position to make a play on the ball, and that they did. Down to a knee here. The defense still with a couple of timeouts. We'll see if they want to use them. The Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. The Bills on their way to victory now as they take the knee. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this fourth quarter. They're backed up here, tough spot, needing 11 yards to pick up the first. And they'll indeed take a knee. Here's Logan Cook now as they're forced to kick for the sixth time today. And a fair catch taken back near about the 35, 36-yard line. Well, it took us until the final play, Charles, to officially decide a winner, although on that...